Our discussion is all about multiplication fractions. Steps in multiplying fractions. First, you multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. Now, if the product is an improper fraction, change it to mixed numbers, and lastly, express the product in simplest form. We have an example. We have 6 8 times 1 half, so you multiply the numerators. We multiply, we have 6. Then multiply the denominators. We have 8 times 2, it's 16. Then if the product is an improper fraction, change it into mixed number. As you can see in our answer, it's a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. But this time, it has a common factor between 6 and 18, 6 and 16, so we need to get the lowest term but using continuous division method and their common factor is 2, so we have 3 and this is 8. Then there's no common factor, then our final answer is 3 eighths. Next, steps in multiplying mixed fractions. Mixed fractions are fractions that have a whole number and a fraction. So we have here the steps, change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. When you change the mixed number to improper fraction, we need to multiply the numerator and the whole number, then add it to the numerator, then copy the denominator. So we have 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, then uh, copy the denominator which is 3. That is if the given is mixed number you change it into an improper fraction so we're done with that then 6 over 9 is already in a proper fraction then we can uh, multiply that right away so multiply the numerators we have 48 and multiply the denominators we have 27 now if the product is an improper fraction change it to mixed numbers so meaning we as you can see our answer is improper since the numerator is greater than the denominator so how to change improper to mix we need to divide the numerator to the denominator we have 1 27 21 so our whole number is the quotient which is 1 our remainder is the numerator and then copy the denominator which is 27 then express the product in simplest form 21 and 27 can be reduced to lowest term we reduce it using continuous division method we have the common is 3 so this 21 divide 3 this is division this is 7 and this is 9 then no common factor for 7 and 9 aside from 1 then our answer is 7 9 and don't don't forget the whole number here which is 1 so our answer is 1 and 7 9 next steps in multiplying whole number to mixed fractions so here are the steps first we put a 1 as a denominator of the whole number to make the whole number a numerator so in the example our given is 6 it's a whole number so you just put 1 as a denominator it's our step 1 then change the mixed number to improper fractions this is an improper uh, mixed number so we change that into improper fraction by multiplying the denominator and the whole number then adding it to the numerator so 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 then copy the denominator then we can now multiply we can now multiply the numerators which is 54 and we can now multiply the denominators which is 1 times 4 is 4 now we're done with number 5 we, if the product is an improper fraction change it to mixed numbers now this is an improper fraction so we need to simplify it to a mixed number we have 4 this is 1, 4, 14, that is 3, 12, 2. Okay, so our answer is for our quotient, that's the whole number. Then the remainder is 2. Then copy the denominator, which is 4. 2 and 4 can still be reduced in lowest terms. So we have 2, 1, and then 2. Okay, so our answer is 13 and 1 half. 
let's have more examples we have what is the product of 2 and 3 and 1 fifth so again if the given is a whole number all you need is to put 1 as a denominator and for if it the given is a mixed number change it into improper fraction by multiplying the denominator and a whole number and adding it to the numerator so we have 15 plus 1 16 copy the denominator then we multiply 2 times 16 this is 32 then 5 then since it's improper we change it into a mixed number we have 6 and 30 this is 2 so our answer is 6 and 2 fifths next what is 2 7 times 4 times 1 and 1 half so 2 7 is already in a proper fraction so we copy that and for the whole number which is 4 we just put 1 as a denominator then for the 1 and 1 half we change first into an improper fraction so we have 3 over 2 then we can now multiply 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 that is 24 then 7 times 1 7 times 2 is 14 then it's still an improper fraction so we need to simplify and change it to a mixed number so we have 1 14 10 and our answer is 1 and 10 over 14 now 10 and 14 can still be reduced in lowest terms so the common of the two is 2 then 5 and this is 7 so the answer is 1 and 5 7 I want you to try these examples Then, you check if your answer is correct. Here are the answers. For 2 and 1 4 times 3 and 2 3rd, we have 8 and 1 4th. For 3 times 1 and 1 half times 1 3rd, the answer is 1 and 1 half.